so welcome back everyone i hope you all got yourself something to drink even you benjamin you can't drink air please you're just gonna choke on it please, please don't do that so alice onto the breach let's go good news nick sankrit and rio and jer have finished a tour of gala oh yeah true <laughs> these guys were also doing things and they're on their way back here even as we speak as we still haven't heard anything on the towers from the Alliance, I'm hoping they might be able to shed some light on things. They do to arrive any moment now, so let's see what they have to say, huh? Let's take a look what they have to say! Huh, a welcome party. You needn't have gone to the trouble, from what I hear. You've been more than busy enough as it is. Honestly, you might have waited for me to return before discovering a cure for tempering. As it is, I can't even pretend to have been involved. Well, if it's any consolation, I myself was a little more than a spectator. The lion's share of the credit must go to Alice, Graha, and Nyx. And Master Matu No, no, we went to Master Matuya after that. Never mind, never mind, never mind. But I believe I speak for the rest of us when I say we are proud to have rendered what little assistance we could. As you will also have heard, though, it hasn't all been tales of triumph. Just as we were taking a step towards finally addressing the primal threat, a pile of fresh problems landed in our lab. Anyway, it's good to have you back, though I can't help noticing that we're one... that we're one Uriangir short of a scouting party. You haven't lost him, have you? Oh, I couldn't lose him if I tried. And I did try, repeatedly. But no, he decided to linger in Alamiga and to apprise Robin and the others of how the land lies in Golemand. Then mayhap he would do the same for us. Indeed. It was just as Liz said, worse, in fact. Devastation as far as the eye could see. Nerva and the ill and the third and the third but notably by their absence. But they have met their end at the hands of Xenos and Fand and Fandaniel? Perhaps, or perhaps I simply lost the will to fight. You see, the capital has been plunged into a deathly silence, with one exception, the Imperial Palace. It was a busy palace before the war, but it has grown busier still, the throngs of soldiers and civilians working their day and night to rebuild, or rather, transform it. Transform it? Into what? That is a difficult question to answer. The construction is vast and unsettling to behold, like something from a nightmare. According to Rianger, certain aspects of its design were clearly devised with the manipulation of ether in mind, Meditech in other words. Yet as unnerving as that edifice was, it was nothing next to the sight of its builders. They swamped the place like so many insects, working with narai, nary a word exchanged between them. No one overseeing construction, no one barking orders. It was as if they were possessed, or tempered. We wanted to investigate more closely, but given our suspicions, it seemed wiser not to take the risk. Huh. If Daniel could bind Bahamut to his will, might he have done the same to the people of Golemal? Whatever the truth may be, this information is certain to prove valuable. We have our thanks. Well, be sure to save some for Yanjero, which reminds me, I have a message from Alamiga. Robin is hosting a meeting to discuss the latest finding on the towers, and he requested our presence. Then why not leave that to us? You must be wary from your mission. Tankard is like, I am gonna be part of the party, Lucas. You scream for dinner, are you already done? You don't have to look at me that innocently. <laughs> You're a menace. No, no, I'm fine. Those towers have been on my mind since I first spied one on the way back. And I'm keen to get to the bottom of this. In that case, I shall stay and begin looking into another matter. As I promised Krill, we need not all attend. 
Very well, I suggest the rest of us make our way to Alamiga for the The sooner we leave, the more time we will have to speak with Uri and Jer before the meeting. Okay. We are going to Alamiga. There we go. I still feel betrayed by you guys. You told me I don't have to see Lissa's face anymore, and here we are. Here we are. So, let me just... We are going over here. We need to go to the stairs, I think. No, wait, no. Here are the stairs. Da -da 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 -da. My friend, much and more have I heard of your travels in our absence. Hearten them I to see you all hail hard whole. As are we to see you safely return from your mission, Rianja? I trust thankfully it made you feel welcome. Well well, if it is not Fine and his merry band. Oh look! At least we're also seeing some other faces. Arenval, whatever are you doing here? And we spoke via Linkpool. You told me you'd be away on a mission. And who's to say this isn't part of it? But enough about that. It's good to see you looking so... similar. I thought you'd have grown a bit tall. <laughs> I thought you'd have grown a bit taller after a whole year in another world, but apparently not. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. While my soul may be a year older, my body has hardly aged, as you are well aware. And may I remind you that we Ellison are known to be late bloomers, especially in terms of our height. Mark my words, the day will come when even a great auric such as yourself will crane your neck to meet my eye. Wait, wait, but it's okay, you can stay small. Height isn't everything. No, it was not until my 20th summer that I myself outgrew my boyish proportions. So, mom brother towered over me nonetheless. Arval brings out the best in Alfino, doesn't he? They both seem so at ease in each other's company. That's almost endearing. Sweetie, you're older than 20. That's no. Wipe. No. So, what exactly brings you here? Oh, for Dola mostly. We need to go over a few things before we set out. Oh, I remember for Dola. Set out? Wait, does this have something to do with the towers? Uh, what gave you that impression? Actually, tell me later. You've got a meeting to go to. I'll see you afterwards, alright? If Fedora is going with him, that must mean... My apologies. As Arambod rightly pointed out, we have a meeting to attend. Let us be about it. Let's go to the meeting! Ere we begin, I would like to offer my gratitude to Masters Thancred and Uriange. It is no small feat to infiltrate the Imperial capital and live to tell the tale, much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Full glad are we to have been of service. But, verily, such dangers as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. An Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final days. Theatrix. He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. But since then we have seen no sign of this fun Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, there's no telling where he might strike next. Whenever and wherever it may be, 
We must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. Look, hi, how you doing? Are you at work? Twas with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. Our you advanced were sleeping, party that's fine. took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able to restrain them before they did any harm. Then it was just a matter of letting the Porxies do their work. Are you saying they were tempered? Tempered, Once thundered. they'd come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. Glory to Garlemont. Glory be to Garlemont. Da 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 da! Oh no! The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities. Yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. This... Excuse me, Argent? No. Would that the unsettling news ended there. Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learnt that other beast tribes have suffered similar losses. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. Our scouts sighted black-garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. The Temple Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. So the Empire is the common thread. You wouldn't have guessed this by the way he said, lower to Golemal. With the support of Xenos, it seems likely that Van Daniel has rallied a faction of the splintered Galian army to the banner of the Trilophoroi. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion when I shared our findings with Doma. Where is he? I want to see him! The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But well, the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. Given the nature of the enemy and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I am confident in my choice. Would you bring? Oh, hi there. What? What they gonna do? Is that their mission? Resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate the towers without fear of being turned. Oh no! Don't do this to me. She ain't happy. We are glad about to that. put our gifts to use, Commander. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. Well, that was concludes like, not my the briefing. BFF. You two, make ready and join your escort. Are you certain about this, Arunvald? Don't give the boy more trauma. Come back in one piece. I am. Come on, let's talk outside.
That's not outside though. <laughs> Still inside. Oh, I'm gonna listen in on their talk. But it's out in the open. I don't have to keep it under my proverbial hat anymore. <laughs> you're, you're a bit too late for that comment, look, are you? <laughs> so, you know, I've late. already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamulder and Vmar at Ralga's Reach as well. Are Come on, hug it out. I admire your enthusiasm, but this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. Probably aware of that. I know the risks. Mm. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can he make a difference. So if I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Eldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. <clears throat> she is being a Tsun Tsun. So the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. And now, from out of its twitching carcass, crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head! Seeing a cactus? What? I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. Oh, I like for the law. I need to know. Whatever it is, I need to know. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. I guess? If you've finished with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. <laughs> Which tower are you planning to investigate? Thank exactly? like, if you're done with your BFFing here, can we go back to actual business? Because the world is ending again, once more. Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere he near it. Or he's severely wounded and it's gonna kinda kill, like, emotionally kill him. Which is why we've set our sights on the one in Pagalthan instead. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Even so, I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around in their territory. Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose our way. Mm. Oh my god. Well, we best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxeld. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. Babe, you just sent him to his death with the sentence. Ha! <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. Though, We're not gonna see him again, to be do fair, we? getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Take care, eh?
It means a lot, you know. You come in with me. I'll still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Can't return the favour if I'm not there. I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Van Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. <laughs> Too much for the likes of me, anyway. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that, given what's coming. I realise I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light, or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. He's not 12, okay? You established this. He's not 12. No. The fact is, I'm nothing like them, and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't try. They're counting on me. On us. So let's give it our all. He does not want for conviction, that much is certain. So let us have faith in him, him and Fordola both. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task, chasing down this lunar Bahamut. Ah, oh, bloody thing. Can you hear me? It's Tataru. <gasps> Estinian! I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. Where is he? And I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. But he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard, so if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stones. Good luck. I wanted to stop here, but I want to see Estinian, so we're gonna try to knock quest While like you go off on your dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. We have much to tell the others. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long. Okay, let's go. One more, one more, because I want to see Estinian. So Estinian was bound for Ishgar. Whatever it is that brings him home, we must hope it will keep him there long enough for us to find him. Come, there is no time to lose. Go. Probably have to run like from A to B to C to D to find him, don't I? We're visiting Ishgard a lot today. Our present? Good. Let us split up and search for Estinian. Since we're relatively new to this place, Gra and I will look around the open spaces, the squares and markets and whatnot. You and Nix can develop into the nukes and cannons. Very well, let us reconvene at the airship landing later, before or without Estinian. Good luck. I think I shall begin at the Sky Steel Manufacturer, so perhaps you could try the congregation. Lucia may well have heard news of uh, of our friend's return. Sure, we can do that. Uh, we are about to go over there.
Lucia, hi, do you know where Asenian is? Kamara is here, Roy of Light. Lord Imerick sent word that you will be attending the meeting in Alamigo, so I gather you have not come in search of him. To what end do we owe the pleasure of your visit? I see, no. We were not aware Sir Estinian had returned to Ishgur, but I expect you remember, he, w he is wont to come and go as he pleases. May have you come seeking an audience with Lord Imerick, only to find him absent. In any event, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Perhaps one of your companions has fared better. Okay. You were very not helpful. I'll admit that. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, let's go. We need to teleport. Down there. Down there we teleport. Hello everyone, did you find a scene? It doesn't seem like anyone found a scene yet. Wait, Alfino is not here. Did Alfino find a scene yet? No sign of him. Not that I've ever met him before, but the way Alfino goes on about him, I'm fairly sure I could pick him out in a crowd. Well, did we never even told them what they have to look for? How would they know? Speaking of which, it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source of general excitement? Well, only if they would know. <gasps> First the Scion's coin keeper, and now you. I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. Hi there. Not that I'm complaining. It's been too long. You're so tough. <laughs> Come here. Too long. <laughs> too long. Really you look an ilm taller and twice as rugged. It suits you, Alpha No. Honey, honey, no. Honey, babe, no. Quieter, though. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong, silent type? I am not Alphano. Oops. They are twins, to be if fair. If the two of you are such firm friends, perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? Ugh! Had my brother mentioned what an oaf you are, I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. He is so angry. You guys are twins, it's not at him, okay? Estinian Wormblood. The Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the Dread Worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. To think the day would come when I should see this living legend with my own eyes. <laughs> oh my god, look at the baby! Look at the star! Oh, it is so cute! I can't! Oh, god, he's so precious! He's a precious baby bean! Would someone mind explaining what is going on? Is everything alright? I thought I heard Alize shouting. Estinian! It's been too long. That was fucking adorable. No, no, it's quite understandable. That was hardly the first time we've been confused for one another. Nor, I suspect, will it be the last. Well, I for one will not be making that mistake again. What I will say for the second time today, is that you've grown, inside and out. I can tell. 
One can't remain a spoiled little lordling forever, you know. At least someone's having a good time. Alfino you know when so we were growing up, Alfino so would never befriend him. other boys because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge. But maybe that's changed. He seems just as happy around Astinian as he does Arenvald. Perhaps he sees him as the brothers he never had. I think he learned how to talk with people. Yeah. He, with them, not at them. I wouldn't be so sure. He still loves nothing better than the sound of his own voice. <laughs> Look at the baby. No rest for the righteous, eh? Speaking of which, I was just on my way to borrow an airship to take me to Azisla. You wanna go Azis with Aris? How could I forget? The dragon with whom Bahamut shared the deepest of bonds. Aye, Tiamat, his mate. Even now she remains imprisoned on Azisla, though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. I see. As the one who first summoned Bahamut, you believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation? Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azisla together? I'm not sure if Tataru mentioned this, but we Scions have an airship of our own now. I see no reason why not. Assuming your sister can bear the thought of sharing a deck with me. Be my guest. <laughs> But confuse me with oh. Alphano again, and I'll throw you overboard. Don't be so angry at him. He didn't even know Alphano had a twin. Ugh! I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Alphano painted him to be. Oh my god, don't be like that. I will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either. Based on what I had read of the man, I think I was expecting someone a little less... blunt? I love them. They're so cute. I'm so afraid something's gonna happen to any of them. It has been quite some time since I lost that foot in Azisla, but I understand the three of you were here rather more recently. I don't suppose you chanced to meet with Tiamat during your visit. Well, it's not. We had no cause to set foot here in the Delta Quadrant. But I have studied the rele relevant record, which is not to say I wouldn't appreciate a first-hand account of your dealings with her. Well then, Nyx is the person to ask. As far as I know, she's the only one of us to have met Tiamat face to face. Even though she was a prisoner, let's just say it helped her. Yeah, Midgar Summer. Yes. Oh yeah, so you're a friend of her father. I too have met Tiamat. After the Dragon Song War came to a close, I came here to speak with her, a worm who had fought her own war against men in another age. I wished I wished to know if she had harbored thoughts of vengeance and ask as much. She said no. That's good. My hatred for your kind was extinguished long ago. But the guilt she feels for resurrecting Bahamut burns on, on them. It torments her even now. I see. Then your original reason for coming here was out of concern that Tiamat had been forced to summon Bahamut. Nikog is a part of me. I feel his emotions as my own. And I know that he would not allow his sister to be made a tool of evil. In his absence, it falls to me to watch over her. Go to the dragon, I guess. 